Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about the ocean and why you should respect it, what you should know about the ocean, things to do before you get in the water, or you're gonna end up like the people down there. Respectfully, I use them as an example. So you guys don't, you avoid their fate. So you avoid what happened to them. And it's not just because they were swimming at nighttime. Uh, you have to understand the ocean, humans are made up mostly of water. The ocean's mostly water. The planet's mostly, the ocean's mostly made out of water. Yes, it is. It's both, it's, the ocean's mostly made of water. Yes. Water, the blue sky is blue. Okay, so let's get straight to the point in teaching about what you guys are supposed to do around the ocean. Number one, respect. So, if you're an unholy person, the, the ocean can be on your side at cleansing you. So I would look in the book of Exodus. I mean, uh, yeah, Exodus, Exodus 2, but it's more so Le Leviticus and Numbers in the Bible. And uh, yeah, Exodus 2, because uh, the Red Sea did claim an entire army. It, it, but it energetically cleansed it as well. It, it took away generations of just bad energy. The thing about the ocean is it's a cleanse. It, the, the ocean is very cleansing. It's a cleanser, but sometimes it'll it'll fully cleanse. It'll cleanse the life from someone, but this can be avoided. You could use it. You could use the ocean to remove bad luck from you. Jinxes, curses, karma, hexes. Uh, literally, if you have nothing, if you have nothing else, and if you're not near the ocean, this, this video is still going to help you because. Even if you come near an ocean after not being around an ocean for a while, and you don't need to be near an ocean to connect to the ocean. Let me get, let me get that straight right now. You don't need to be near an ocean to connect to the ocean. You don't. I'll teach you how to visit the ocean in this video too. But, I mean, that's a, it, that is the safest place to astral travel ever, the ocean. <laughs> and it's the easiest place. And I'll teach you how to astral travel in this video too, but you have to respect the ocean. God made the ocean and he made it full of monsters. It's full of monsters. Look at most of the examples in the Bible talking about the ocean. It's a very scary place. Let's just say that. It contains demons and spirits. It contains the dead. It's, it, the ocean's a giant graveyard, but it's also a giant sanctuary. It's a giant form of life. It's, it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful thing, and it's a very scary thing. But people will go to the beach because it's beautiful, but they won't really understand the concept of the dy dynamic of the ocean and they'll be claimed by the ocean. The ocean can be on your side in multiple ways too. So the biggest thing is with the ocean and you're, if you're a very spiritual person your gifts will be opened by the ocean even if you don't live near an ocean. It's best if you live near an ocean but let me get to this number one. When you get to the ocean pray the Lord's Prayer Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. At least pray Psalm 91. Say, Lord, please keep me safe from from all the entities and demons, etc. Here, because uh, think about it like this: How many people have died in an ocean? How many people have died in the ocean? And how many people have died in a grave? I mean, have, have died in a graveyard? None, none. I mean, not many people die in graveyards. But when you go to a graveyard, those are bodies already there. Versus people have actually died in the ocean. Plus, they're buried in the ocean. So it's both a graveyard and a a containment ground. So unfortunately, someone over here, yes, a person got in the ocean and it didn't go so well. Uh, lifeguard, night lifeguard is looking for the person right now, but the ocean's wildfire. It's different. It's completely different. You don't know what's in the water. And some people are like, I'm scared of the ocean. I'm never getting in. The Lord is bigger. So when you pray and you get in the water, you're fine. When you respect the water and you get in the water, you're fine. When your karma is good and you get into the water, you're fine. When are you not fine? If you don't know what you're doing. So I would recommend you guys, if you take seashells from the beach, put seven pennies, three or seven pennies down facing upwards because it's a payment. Because technically, like I said, it's a graveyard. It has graveyard energy. It's a site of necromancy. But necromancy doesn't mean just death. It means necromancy is life magic. People don't know that. It's the magic of life. Jesus literally brought Lazarus back. Jesus came back himself 
he returned. So he died for our sins and he came back. So necromancy is holy and it's sacred when it's done through the Lord. When the enemy does it, it's hor it's it's horrible. It's just horrible. It's not horrifying. It's just horrible. Because the dead are are the dead are is on the trajectory of the dead versus when you're doing any form of necromancy through the Lord, it's life. It's all about life and rest restoration. You can bring a plant back from the dead, but you can also bring a bad person back from the dead. That's outside the topic. I'll do a video on necromancy in the future. As above, so below. So, basically, the, the ocean's a giant graveyard. And lots of demons are in the ocean, but lots of helpful, good spirits are in the ocean, too. So, when it comes to the ocean, there are literally good spirits in the ocean, which good spirits, these are actually ascended ancestors, which they, they come around to help. They come around to help. They're kind of busy above the firmament in heaven with God with the Lord, but the thing about the ocean is when you get in the water, you can literally talk to the waters. You can have the waters over. You can walk into the ocean with gifts and if you're a, bar if you're a bad person, you'll walk out of the water without the gifts. Or if, if you're a really dark or evil person because it cleans you of gifts that were not coming from God. So if you're a person who, if you're gifted and you get in the ocean, you walk out with some gifts. Clairvoyance, clairaudience, you're still connected to the ocean. I've had multiple ocean deities approach me. I only work with beings of light and beings of God. They still help out. Although, I'm more so... And there's more coming. Oh, there's a helicopter now. Psalm 91. You can pray the hapana pana pana. That's a helicopter. Okay. That was worse than I thought, but... I mean, they found the ocean at nighttime, so... When you get in the ocean at nighttime, that's actually even more of a, it's a sacred energy. So, then you heavily, heavily, heavily have to rely, and this is a lot more ambulance that like showing up. And this is, one time you don't swim in the ocean, it's near Halloween. Why? It's because it's Halloween. So, and November, so I'm not, I, this video is not meant to scare you guys, but it's to tell you to be cautious. Number one, prayer. Number two, protection. Wear black tourmaline when you get in the water. Uh, number three, make sure you're not working with anything that's not a being of light. An ancestor, a ascended ancestor, an angel. Because when you get in the ocean, they'll hold you underwater. And God will let it happen because it's a being you called upon. Not many people know it, but a lot of demonologists or people who work with demons, when their demon's done with them and they get in the ocean, Oh, all of a sudden the polarity of water changed. Now they, they can't swim. They they don't float anymore. They just go under. It's because when that person dies, a certain energy is released. It goes straight to the demon and demons. So remember how I said there's a lot of demons in the ocean? Same thing happens. So the ocean can protect you as well. The ocean can protect you. So you can do your rituals with the ocean. You can make wishes with the ocean. So uh, the light's on me now. I'm only teaching about the ocean, guys. So, here's a little thing. You can take ocean water. You do seven pennies, and I put down a fruit. I put down something sweet. And then you can take a gallon of ocean water and cleanse the floor of your home with it. And then you'll see nothing but abundance come into your home. Now, if you collect the ocean water without paying for it, you're in trouble. If you did what if you what if you did it in the past and you didn't know then you're forgiven because the lord knows that you guys really don't know this you're fine you're fine you might have had a little bit here and there but you're fine so in essence one thing you guys can pick up from this is that it's very holy but it's also very unholy for the people who are unholy so it depends on where you're at if you feel like you're someone who has bad luck and you get in the ocean, you could, have, you could have good luck, but it not be inherited through the Lord. So the biggest thing is, you inherit your gifts through the Lord. So, the ocean's the, one of the most cleansing... I feel like I'm a news reporter in the spiritual realm. Now, like... Uh, I mean, I just this is a good topic because... You have to understand, if you have an eerie feeling before getting in the water, don't get in the water. If you feel like, eh, I don't feel good about this, don't get in the water. Most people ignore their feelings. You can ask someone after they ate, 
what are you feeling? They're just like, I don't feel anything. You don't feel full? You just had food. Same thing with that. But uh, I practice the hapono, pono, pono before you get in the ocean. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. To make sure your karmic energies are clear before you get in the water. So, if you, I mean, this is the part of the video that gets interesting. Take your crystals off before you get in the water. Number one, there's, there are fish that think you'd look like a lure. Number two, uh, let's just say mermaids like jewelry. What do I mean by that? Mermaids like jewelry. So when you get in the water, mermaids can water bend. So let's just say if you're wearing a bunch of jewelry and you get in the water, like I would not get in the water with all this on. I thought about it and my angel said no. Like you're just basically a giant offering at that point. I'm like, okay, understood. You can get in a pool, you can do anything else, but not the ocean, because it's literally, it's, it, 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 think about all the, the Spanish ships that were in the ocean and they just get claimed. Think about that. Do you think it's coincidence? Or do you think something, well, what does a dragon do? What does smog do from Lord of the Rings? A dragon, which dragons are directly associated with devil, devils, basically they like to hoard stuff. So, more is showing up. So basically dragons like to hoard stuff. So, if it means you going to the bottom with the jewelry on, that's why people lose their jewelry in the ocean. Sometimes it'll just take it. They're like, oh, here. And then some, usually a deity, because it's several, it's it's not, you're not ever talking to one thing in the ocean. It's, everything's watching. It's everything. It's everything at once, because water is connected. Water is a, water is a conduit. So, uh, literally everything's talking to you in the ocean. So, it's good if you go during the daytime. Go with people around, because there's spiritual, I mean, when you're in the ocean alone and there's no one else around, certain dynamics will shift so make sure you're praying make sure you're balanced make sure your energies are clean make sure you're you do the ho'oponopono so the ocean's actually one of the biggest sources for power as well because for the people who are afraid of the ocean god controls the ocean he controls the ocean it's scary because he made it scary and beautiful at the same time there are things in this world that are scary and beautiful good poison dart frogs Look at snakes. People are like, I don't like snakes, I don't like frogs. Look at some flowers, I guess. I don't like flowers. <laughs> but that's a thing. The ocean is good for bringing in abundance. So you can use the ocean water, you can use it to cleanse. It has an expiration about a week. Uh, you can stick your feet in the water. The ocean's incredibly healing physically. I only teach about spirituality, but it's, it's healing physically the ocean will have you removing curses when you get in the water it'll bless you that salt water will take attachments off of you and it's literally like you know how there's cleaner fish that's how uh good spirits will actually cleanse you when you get in the water they're like remove attachments one by one so i dunk your head seven times swim in the water and it removes curses if you're unlucky after that it's because it doesn't have to do with anything with hexing or roadblocks or cleansing it could be planetary so, your gut will always tell you. The ocean, uh, like I said, if you were, I mean, a lot of people have lost something in the ocean. So, be respectful, be mindful. If you meditate at the ocean, actually, you can meditate at the beach without getting in the water, uh, and you'll have gifts open. So, for the people who don't live near the ocean, if you can obtain some sand from an ocean, or if you don't, you don't have to do this, but visualize yourself at the ocean after you meditate for 30 minutes. And so still your body, calm your body, calm your mind, visualize yourself at the ocean, and then open your eyes. It's the easiest place to actual, actual travel. You'll actually be at the ocean. You'll see people walking by, you'll see people around you. It could be day or night. I would suggest doing it at actual project at the ocean at nighttime. It's much easier. You could do it during the daytime as well. But that's how, that's how you can start actual projection. I teach people who have custom necklaces for me how to actual project fully. So if you already know, Practice with the ocean. Practice with the beach. Eh, more cars are coming. If you'd like your own custom necklace, 
You can DM Florida Stoneman on Instagram. It's prescribed based off your life path and they're spiritually prescribed. Spiritually, as a witch doctor. I'm not an actual doctor, I'm a witch doctor. <laughs> Gotta make that clear with the disclaimer, but there's more ambulance coming. Uh, unfortunately, someone didn't make it back to their car, so. Uh, this video was necessary to, to make sure you guys know about how real the ocean is. Because it's not just an ocean. It's most of the earth. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Make sure you check out floridastoman.com as well. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. And guys, make sure you pray for the person who is over here as well. Whether they're in the afterlife or they're actually in life. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.